<laughs> How you doing YouTube? Glad to see you're here guys. Hey yeah, today we're going to uh, do a little sketch of the Sangre de Cristo Catholic Church. This little church is down in, uh, at the edge of Valencia, New Mexico. And in the, I've got a video coming up here, a little short clip for you. And I said it was on Highway 6, but it's actually on uh, 47, Highway 47, out of Albuquerque, which if you're coming, if you go through Albuquerque, that is uh, Broadway turns into Highway 47, or actually probably Highway 47 is called Broadway through Albuquerque. Hmm. Yeah, the, um, you know, I really like Route 66, and I, I do a lot of attempting to research it a little bit, but um, I have a kind of a curious question. I believe that this little corner, and we're talking about a two, three mile area, you know, Route 66 was realigned a couple of times and went through dirt roads. I, I did read that um, in the late 20s, like by the end of 1926, I believe it was, or 1927, that uh, it was uh, Route 66 was paved from New Mexico to Los, or from Albuquerque to Las Lunas. So it might have been paved during, uh, you know, back then, but the church spent, uh, uh, well, anyway, it was paved during part of the time that it was Route 66. My question or my quandary is, I know that Route 66 came down Highway 47 uh, after one of their realignments. And it was before the main realignment which changed Route 66 to go straight, instead of coming down through Los Lunas, coming south, it goes straight from Grants, New Mexico, straight through Albuquerque and on to Santa Rosa. But before that, it changed a few times. In fact, at one time, it crossed the Rio Grande in about a 30 mile area, three times back and forth, different sides of the, of the river. So my question, if anybody out there is a historian, I'd really like to know if this church sits on one of the realignments of Route 66. I believe that it does. But in looking at what archival maps I could find on the internet, uh, I really couldn't find one that says definitively that that's true. Well, here's a clip. Oh, it's real windy out here. As you can see, it's pretty busy now. It's, I believe this is part of New Mexico 6, Highway 6, but it was Route 66, pre-1937, this section, and uh, back then, when this, this church, the original was here, uh, this was a dirt road, as part, lots of parts of Route 66 were still dirt. Anyway, I thought this one would be a little interesting and a fun one to... Uh, to paint, traces the community, traces its beginnings to a hacienda established in when? The mid 17th century. And there's a little information about the Preble Revolt. It's a beautiful little uh, example of the old adobe churches, the missions. This is in Los Lunas, New Mexico. And I want to show you this one gravesite over here. <coughs> Excuse me. This is, I believe, yeah, Francisco V. Hill. He was a sheriff and it says was gunned down in line of duty on May 25th, 1898. 
while attempting to arrest the infamous Bronco Bill and Kid Johnson during the Great Berlin train robbery of 1898. <laughs> A little tidbit. So, yeah, I don't want to disturb too many of the graves here. But uh, it's a beautiful church. I understand in reading, and I'll show you the book uh, uh, when I do the drawing that I got this from. But in uh, 1941, uh, one of the walls collapsed, and they ended up tearing the whole church down and rebuilding it on the same footprint of the original church that I believe was built in the 1800s. But I'll check my facts in when I show the book. So here's what it looks like now. <coughs> right across from Dion's and a Smith's and a Wex. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of shots, uh, photographs of it. And, uh, We'll paint a picture. Yeah, so anyway, the uh, well, the church was um, built in 1801, the original. And um, it was, like I say, it was torn down. I said that in, that, in there. It was, um, the wall collapsed and they tore it down, in, I believe, in 1941. And uh, was rededicated in 1943. And I got that tidbit. I forgot to photograph the book, so I'll leave it in the uh, description below. But it's called, it's one of those Images of America. This one is called Las Lunas by Baldwin G. Burr. And uh, they're pretty interesting little books, but they. They're not, if you want to go in depth in any history, they just give little blurps, little photograph and a little blurp of what, you know, one fact about that particular photograph. Kind of interesting that uh, <laughs> died in the Great Berlin train robbery. If, if you knew Berlin, it's such a small place, you just couldn't imagine a Great Berlin train robbery. And I may have spoken to this in a video 20 videos ago. But Valencia County encompasses a wide area, and there was only a couple of sheriffs. I mean, miles and miles, I don't know, 50, 80 miles in one direction. And this is all back horseback, you know, when they, people were on horseback and stuff, and there was only a couple sheriffs. So, but what got me is how on that gravestone, Francis V. Hill, okay, the guy that was in that gravestone, you know, he's hardly known at all, but you can find information on Bronco Bill and Kid Johnson. Those were the the two bad guys. And I'll try and leave a link to the um, YouTube video that I saw on them where uh, <laughs> apparently what they did was they rode their horses south three miles from where the train depot was in Berlin and then they walked back to Berlin and hopped on the train and then two miles out or a couple miles out toward their horses they pointed guns at the at the conductor and had the train stopped and unhitched the back half of it and then and just took off with the uh, part that had the money in it and the uh, train and then stopped near their horses and blew the safe up with dynamite and had a hell of a good time and, and uh, uh, obviously loaded the money on their horses and took off. So back to the question on the Route 66, I believe that this church sits on one of the rear alignments of the church and I know that a few miles north of this at one point, the church, I mean the uh, Route 66, crossed the Rio Grande and m missed Las Lunas. But I'm pretty sure that at one point it came through Las Lunas before the, the big realignment. So anyway, back to the great Berlin train robbery. What makes it uh, 
even more famous is that those two guys took off with their horses and they were being pursued and uh, Vigil he couldn't seem to get any volunteers apparently there was nobody that really wanted to volunteer so there was one one guy that volunteered to go with him to develop a posse and his name was Bustamante anyway both of them eventually got killed chasing the bad guys but the bad guys were under so much pressure and knowing that they're being chased that they hid the money and still to this day people go south of Berlin and uh, hunt for the money they think that they took some of the money with them but the vast majority of it they buried uh, because they were running you know they were on the run and in fact I believe it was Bronco Bill that lived the longest uh, the kid got killed in a gun battle and uh, Bronco Bill said that he searched for it went back to he, there were three trees and he went back and searched for it and never found it and he eventually went to prison a couple of times and yada yada but I'll leave you the website if you if you'd like to um, go a little further with it I did see that uh, that V Hill, the two heroes, the two guys that got killed, well, actually, a few Indian guys, and I didn't get their names from the res, got killed as well. Here's some more pictures. Oh, shoot, I'm going to run out of time. Well, darn it, guys. I had uh, quite a bit uh, more information for you, but it looks like I'm going to run out of time here. Sometime we'll do the church at Riley, and I'll tell you some more about this story. Anyway, I had a great time doing it. Hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little convoluted. See you on the next one.